It's time for the weekly news with Adam Yetzer. The Biden administration announced a new plan to combat homelessness that includes providing gender affirming care, which is not what homeless people mean when they beg for change. The Republicans have failed to confirm a new Speaker of the House after Kevin McCarthy lost six votes this week. Even Hillary Clinton is impressed by how many times he's lost. In court on Tuesday, FTX founder Sam Bankfraud pleaded not guilty to criminal charges. Bankfraud pointed out that if he had really stolen $2 billion, he wouldn't look or dress this way. <laughs> Avatar 2 was officially the highest grossing movie of 2022. It surpassed Top Gun Maverick after thousands of mail-in movie tickets were found. It was revealed that incoming Republican Congressman George Santos made several false claims during his campaign, including that he worked for Goldman Sachs, that his grandparents survived the Holocaust, and that his mom died in 9-11. He and President Biden have already agreed to work together on some bipartisan BS. Justin Bieber is nearing a deal to sell the rights to his entire music catalog for $200 million. Hopefully Elon Musk will buy it and destroy it like he did with Twitter. <laughs> a new law in Louisiana requires people to provide a government-issued ID to view porn sites like Pornhub, or you can throw beads at a lady and see her naked for real. The ID law is all part of a racist plot to prevent blacks and illegal immigrants from watching porn. Nick Cannon celebrated the birth of yet another baby this week. I don't actually know if that's true. I'm just going to start saying it every week because odds are it happened. British people are mourning the death of the Indian British man who invented the UK's most popular dish, chicken tikka masala. Honestly, it's not that impressive. All he had to do was make something slightly better than pig blood pie and boiled sheep lungs. <laughs> In a new interview, Dolly Parton said that the secret to her 56-year marriage is that she and her husband aren't in each other's faces all the time. In fact, her husband hasn't seen her since three faces ago. <laughs> For the first time ever, Denmark recorded no bank robberies in all of 2022. As a result, police were able to spend more time eating Danishes rather than chasing them. That's it for weekly news. To see more, check out my YouTube channel and come see me live at the Gas Lamp in Long Beach, January 22nd, and Slack Key Lounge in Honolulu, January 28th. Welcome to the end card. You're the contestant who just got to watch a great Babylon Bee video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. You could win the chance to win a fabulous opportunity to watch another amazing Babylon Bee video. Oh.